Me mamu akwa ba eba stitching with me na on Anansi TV. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to draft the basic bodies block. Here in Ghana, we like to do a lot of freehand cutting. The importance of drafting the basic bodies block is because it helps you adapt it into other complex styles. I would entreat everyone to learn how to draft at least the basic bodies block. So let's start. For our shoulder, so we mark out a straight line. Okay, remember that even with our fabrics, there are a few writings, so you don't start from the top. So, the basic measurements we need for drafting the block is our bust, our waist, and then our hip, and then our shoulder to nip, shoulder to waist and then the blouse length so the shoulder to bust or nape for this tutorial is 10 inches shoulder to waist is 15 inches our shoulder to hip or blouse length is 24 and then we add an extra two inch as allowance we do same here so that you can mark you can join the lines without having a crooked line. So you repeat the same thing here. And then we draw our straight lines. Now that we have our lines out this is our shoulder line on this line we insert two types of measurements the neck and then the shoulder the average neck line is three inches by three inches for the neckline you can decide to go in a little wide or come down a little deeper so we join it with our french curve so we are done with our neckline now we go to the shoulder which is 15 inches 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so we have our 7.5 on that mark we come down by one inch because our shoulders are not straight they slope or slant a little so we draw our shoulder line now that we have marked out our shoulder we need to insert our armhole measurement so in order to get your armhole, you need to divide your bust by six and then add one inch. So the bust for this tutorial is 33. 33 divided by six is 5.5 plus one inch is 6.5. So you stand on the one inch that you've sloped down and then you mark your 6.5. You stand here 7.5 and mark the same 7.5 here. And then you join it to have a straight line now that we have this line we need to insert our measurements so now every remember that when you are cutting every dress or skirt, you need to divide the measurements into four so we have 33 33 divided by 4 is 8.25 so we have 8.25 as our bust measurement but we need to add one inch as is. So it's going to be 9.25. 9.25 and then we add two inches as seam allowance. So this is for the bust. This is our waistline. So let's mark it so that we don't get confused. Our waistline, so the waist is 28. 28 divided by four is eight. So we have our eight inches here. For the waistline, if you are going to insert a dart, you need to add the dart measurement to it. So you are going to add a dart of one inch and then a seam allowance of two inches like we did for the bust. We are going to repeat the same thing on the blouse length. Now the blouse length usually is on the hip or a little above the hip. 
the height for this tutorial is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. So we have our 9.5 and then we add 2 inches seam allowance. We do it also on the hemline. So 9.5 plus 2 inch seam allowance. Now that we have marked out our measurements, we can join our dots. The waist line. So our waist is seven plus one inch plus two inches same allowance. So now we join our bust to our waist and then we join it to the blouse length. Here we have it. Now we need to mark out our shoulder or our armhole. After we had our 6.5 because we divided our bust into 6 and under an inch, we had 6.5. We join it with a straight line. After joining this straight line, in order to get your armhole, we are going to divide 6.5 into 2. So that will give us 3.25 or 3 and quarter. On that middle line, you come down by, you come back by 3 and 7.5 or 3 quarter. Then you join the midpoint to the shoulder and then you use the French curve to curve it out to where we marked our original bust measurement. Remember this is the seam allowance. So here we have it. Now remember for our waistline, we had to insert a dart. We added one inch as our dart measurement. So in order to get your dart point, you have to divide your bust. You have to get your nipple to nipple measurement. Please, if you don't know how to take measurement, Check our description box where we have we have that tutorial in our other videos. So our nipple to nipple for this is seven. Seven divided by two is three point five. So you have to add half an inch. That will give us four inches. So we stand here and then we still mark the four inches just to have a straight line. And then we mark out. That so this is going to be our that point. Now that we have this, we are going to come in by half. Remember, we added one inch for that, so one divided by two is half. So we place half here, half here. Also, when marking your that, you need to go below the bust point by one inch. So we come down by one inch and then. If you don't want your dad going through to the hem or the down of your blouse, you stand on that blouse line or the blouse length and come up by two inches. So now we can join our dart lines. Okay, so we are almost done with it. Now, if you want your blouse to be straight like this, it is okay. But it's always advisable to curve the side of the blouse a little in. So, let's just... Try curve it in a little. So, here we have our blouse neatly marked out. We are going to cut it out and then we trace out the back measurements.
please don't forget to fold your fabric when cutting so now we are going for the back So here we have our front. Let's mark it so that we don't forget. So this is our front block. Now we are going to use this portion for our back. Remember, if you have a zipper on the dress, you need to have that zipper extension marked out. So we are going to mark our zipper extension, which is usually 1.5 inch. So let's mark our 1.5 inch. Remember before we started with the front block, we marked a straight line here. So we will do the same thing for this part too. So now to make it easier, we are just going to place the front block on the back and then mark out the basic. So this is the chest line, the waist line, and then the blouse line. Okay, so we mark it out also here so that we have everything aligned so this is our neckline our shoulder and then our neckline we are marking this as our bust our waist and then the blouse length okay so we can mark it out because we already have our points remember we had our down slanted a little so let's mark out the two inches seam allowance and then curve it in like we did for the front So as you can see, it is just like the front bodice, but it has a zipper extension or allowance. So now we join our neckline. For the back neck, whatever you do for the front, you maintain the width. If the width is four, you do it for both front and back. But then when it comes down, that is in length, it differs. So for this tutorial, our back neckline is going down by one inch, but for the front is three inches. So it's going to be three by one. So we mark that out. There are a few other dresses where the back and front neckline is the same, but usually the back is higher than the front. So we join our armhole. And then let's not forget our bust line. It is important because we will need it when drafting our back that. So this is our 7.5, which is 15 divided by two, which gives us our shoulder. The reason I'm marking this out again is because our back armhole goes out a little than our front armhole. Remember for the front armhole, we divided 6.5 into 2, which is 3.25. And then we came out by 7.5 before marking it out. For our back armhole, we are not going to do the same. After getting the midpoint, we just join the midpoint through to get to the armhole. So like this. And then we are done with our back. The difference between the back 
bodice and the front bodice is the armhole and then the darts so let's check out the difference now for our darts we marked four inches do same for at the bust line and then on the blouse just like we did for the front so we mark we join it up by a straight line okay remember when we we're drafting the darts for the front we came down from the bust point an inch but for the back darts we are going to go up an inch reason being that our back does not have past so we need to hold it so that it fills up when you wear the clothes so this is how it's going to be also remember our that was just one inch so one inch divided is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we just join our markings remember also that we came up two inches from the blouse length or from the hip line so yeah so that is it we are done with our back for this so let's cut it out and then compare So now that we are done, this is our back and this is our front. We have placed it on each other and as you can see, the front ambo goes in deeper than the back. And also when you put your hand here, which is where the dart ends for the front, you realize that the back dart is a little higher. So that is the difference between the front block and then the back block. Thank you for watching. Please remember to send in your comments and your questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.